What's up YouTube, Anime of Beer here with another video. Um, we're going to review some mangas. I felt like we haven't done one in a while since Dragon Ball Super. Um, link will be in the description if you haven't seen that video. Um, but yeah, I feel like we need more manga reviews. So this Sunday, everybody knows Sunday is new manga drops. Uh, as with Wednesday, new comic book drops. I need to do more comic book reviews as well, but that's for another video. Uh, but today, we're going to be doing a double feature. We're going to be doing One Piece and My Hero. Um, as you can see right here to the side, what issue we're going to be going at with One Piece. Um, issue 1004, uh, Millet Droplins. Um, yeah, things are getting pretty heavy right now in the manga. Uh, you got the worst generation going up against Kaido and Big Mom. Um, you got the rest of the Straw Hats trying to keep every other every other adversary at bay. You know, you got you know Frankie going up against uh, how do you say his name? How do you say his name? Um, oh, I wrote it and now I can't find it. Jeez. Um, <laughs> you got Frankie going up against Sasaki. You got Usopp. You know, Tama, Nami, you know, running around doing their own thing. You got Chopper doing his own thing. You got Robin doing his own thing. And in the last chapter, a few chapters ago, actually, um, Sanji got pretty much overtaken by Black, what, Mira, Myra, Miria, Maria, Maria. <laughs> I said everything but the right name. Uh, but, uh, yeah so but we're gonna get to that soon but let's kind of like dig into the chapter see what's going on see where everybody is um so right now where we are now in like the first panel just starting off you got speed handing off uh all the gifters all the headliners giving them you know these little droplets who she says is from queen it's his special tonic um, it's supposed to get them a power boost, it's supposed to pretty much just help them out in this battle. So, them saying, you know, that's nah, coming from Queen, so let us have it. We'll take it. They take it. Find out that Tama, Otama, the little girl from the, uh, the village, the one that uh, wanted to eat, you know, to her heart's content, she's actually using her devil fruit the uh, drop dumplings which as we know is used to control anybody who eats it so speed is still under her control which is awesome so that just shows that her devil fruit really has no limit as from what I can see unless she's feeding them off to people just speeding it well speeding it off to speed every so often um, but correct me if I'm wrong uh, does, does her devil fruit have a limit I mean Maybe I haven't been paying attention, so help me out on that, guys. But, so yeah, Tama is given, using her devil fruit to control all the uh, headliners, all the gifters. And it's working out pretty well, so she's pretty much gaining her own army, which is freaking awesome. So, next after that, we get Frankie versus Sasaki, uh, which is, again, one of the headliners. Um... Frankie is just pretty much, I guess you could say in a way, Frankie's getting jumped. And Frankie is holding his own, which is freaking awesome. He's in his robot form, his little robot mech suit. And he's just giving Sasaki a run for his money. General Lefts, just, yeah, just, he, he's going in. He's going in. Uh, but he does get, uh, Sasaki and his group do get the upper hand. They hold Frankie down. Frankie can't move, and as you know, Sasaki is a Triceratops, so Sasaki is just coming in full speed ahead, about to give Frankie that work. And who saves him? None other than Usopp, Nami, and Otama herself. Um, they come in, give a distraction. Sasaki's like, all right, let's get him. But Otama pretty much reveals that, yeah, these people that, you know, been that you're trying to talk to have been working for me so we're about to turn this whole fight around and we're about to put everything in our favor which is freaking awesome because in the panel 
Frankie sees Usopp, Otama, and Nami, and he's screaming, help me! And they're like, help us! You know, and they're in their usual coward way. And then when it's revealed that Otama actually has all the gifters under her command, they're kind of like, mm. you know, so it's, it, it, it's, it's pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, so Frankie does take Sasaki out with uh, a slash, but before that, we get a, uh, what's her name? Let me look at my notes here. Look at my notes. OT versus Nami. We do get an OT versus Nami mm, kind of rematch there. Um, but Nami pretty much tells her, yeah, we're not, we, yeah, I, we're not doing that again. Freaking blesses her with a lightning bolt to the heart. And she, but she does admit that it wasn't strong enough to take her out. It was just strong enough to take her down. So, they pretty she pretty much has to get more lightning and well stronger lightning in which everybody knows Oda is that like foreshadowing is are are is she going to get a uh ah uh, oh man I forgot Zeus is she getting Zeus back so that that'd be fun to see because like little little things like that you realize in one piece you have to pay attention to because she says but that's not going to be enough I need stronger lightning uh, but of course uh. With her, Nami taking OT down, one page screams because, like, yeah, sisters just got taken out. And then that's when we see, you know, V for Victory Flash by Frankie on Sasaki taking him out. Next panel, we get back to what's been going on for maybe the past two, three chapters. Black Maria has Sanji, and if you haven't read or, or if you've forgotten, uh, as Sanji, Luffy, and Zoro were running up the stairs to get to the rooftop, Sanji hears a woman crying for help. Of course, Sanji being Sanji, he runs off to try to see what's going on, gets led into a trap by Black Maria, who, uh, as we know, is a spider, so he gets caught up in a web. And he's taken out her male forces, but we all know Sanji does not touch women whatsoever, so... He kind of like backed off when he came to Maria and the rest of the female adversaries. And so she was able to catch him. But as of now in this panel, she pretty much says, uh, you know, we got your game. You're not going to hurt us. But I'll let you go if you cry for Nico Robin. Um, why Nico Robin in particular? It is it's said why, but it isn't specifically said why. Uh, we know that Robin is the only person as of now who can read the Poneglyph, so maybe that's why, so they can capture her and make her read the Poneglyph. But, from her words, she said, when Sanji asked, why do you, you know, what are you going to do with Robin? He, she says, and I quote, well, I suppose we're going to gang up on her, capture her, then mutilate her limbs to incapitate her, and only when we're done with her, however many years that'll take, we will finally kill her, so don't worry, she's got time. And Sandy pretty much says, you know, under underestimate her if you want to. Nico Robin is strong, which she freaking is. Nico Robin is freaking just amazing when it comes to hand-to-hand -to -hand combat. She's smart, she's loyal. So yeah, just coming from Nico Robin, you, you, you tread, tread softly. Tread softly, please. Um, but... Like I said, I, I think it's more to it than that. I think it has more to do with the road pointer glyphs and the what the red pointer glyph or whatever. I forgot what it's called. The road pointer glyphs. Uh, so I think that's why they probably want to capture her. Uh, but next panel over, we see a. Geez, I don't even remember her name. Um, but there's a character who has a detection devil fruit she's able to see from room to room uh, looks like oh no looks like there's a piece of paper over her face so I don't know I don't know uh, but <laughs> it's horrible review um, horrible with names and devil fruits and things like that but there's a character her devil fruit is you know not devil fruit but she has the ability to see into different rooms and she notices that there's ten samurai in the treasure room of Wano of the castle and Queen pretty much says you know he's pretty busy right now because I think he's still fighting that is not Marco but uh 
<laughs> but he says he's pretty much tied up and for somebody else to go take care of it and pretty much take him out and he calls black maria and maria says that she will go take care of it but there's someone in the room and we don't know who it is um in the panel she's kneeling down against uh key kinemon kinemon she's kneeling down against him and then there's a panel for her head down crying i mean we can't really say it's a girl we can't really say it's a guy i'm assuming it's a girl but i'm just going to automatically assume it's nico robin um can't say for sure i'm not really sure about that um but um honestly decent chapter i'm not going to say it's amazing because not much has happened you know we went from a whole chapter where luffy is just giving blows to kaido and we find out that zero actually has the sword that can really damage kaido so you know just i feel like this is just a build-up chapter like just in just introducing more people uh not really introducing more people but you know we're, we're seeing where everybody is right now piece by piece and i'm pretty interested for next week to see what else goes on here but uh yeah, that's uh, this week's uh, One Piece chapter. Stay tuned, and we're going to start the uh, My Hero chapter. Boom, here we go, guys, with the continuation of our review. Next up, My Hero issue... Oh, jeez. Um, <laughs> 301. <laughs> oh, man, so I'm prepared. Um, issue 301. Um pretty much a more of a flashback backstory uh chapter um so pretty much in this chapter we found out more about dobby we found out more about endeavor and why he's doing what he's doing and how he was able to do it so pretty much what happened is um ray rei ray rei Shoto's mom, Rei, Ray. I'm gonna call her Ray. Um, Ray and Endeavor, not really so much a planned marriage, but there was a reason for their marriage, and one reason only, and that was for Endeavor to pretty much have a child who can surpass All Might, because he kind of came to realization that he wasn't going to be able to do it. So create a child that can. So we find out that. Um, Ray's, she's a uh, Ray Himura. Uh, pretty much, her family was pretty much well known, and uh, they're pretty pretty strong people. In uh, and so to pretty much marry and and have this a humorous part of your family or be married to one is a huge honor. Um, off the rip, we know that her her quirk is ice, so. I guess Endeavor wanted to build a quirk that kind of like counteracts each other. Strong when separate, strong when together uh, type ordeal. That's just what I think. But uh, of course, you know, it's, the, it's, you know, before you marry someone, whether it's, it's, it's arranged or not. And that's pretty much what this was. It. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, pretty much an arranged marriage. Um, uh, he, he knew what he was doing. Uh, only one purpose. So you see in the panels that, you know, in the beginning, he really didn't care, but to her, you know, she didn't care. She 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 loved him. I don't know why. I wouldn't have. I mean, look at him. He's grumpy. He's he's a horrible guy. If you know what he did. Um, but as you see to the uh, <laughs> over here, um, Endeavor is surprised to see her because so far all we knew was that she was, uh being cared for um not really in an asylum or anything but more so she was just trying to get herself together mentally and whatnot so i guess a psychiatric hospital i guess you would call it um endeavor surprised to see her because she's there and he asked if everything was okay and she's like no that's why i'm here so we go on with dobby who is freaking mutilated i mean this is what women were drooling over like seriously I'm, I'm just saying but you find out more about him um all dobby wanted to do was make his dad proud and that's pretty much what you find out 
we all knew he they all knew that endeavor was trying to create the perfect child to surpass all might to surpass him to, to just a, a powerful child and dobby being his firstborn failed because you do find out that although dobby has the most powerful fire quirk with his flames being blue his body takes from his mom's side so although he has to fire the power of fire his body is only you know it's used to cold so pretty much this guy can can survive a blizzard you know with no shirt on and short pants and flip-flops but yet if he uses fire he freaking just just mutilates and just burns himself to death and you do get some panels where endeavor is like yeah we have to stop this this it it's not going to work for him he's killing himself but endeavor which they said which dobby said that his dad lit that flame under him because he knew what he was trying to do and he was just trying to make his dad proud and endeavor knew that with Dobby's condition, it will kill him. But Dobby did not care. Tough kid. I mean, he survived this long. Uh, but later down the line, and still trying to create the perfect child, he has two more children, uh, which we find out the daughter has ice, the son has fire, and eventually, boom, Todoroki is born, and he has the power of both, both ice and fire. Which is what Endeavor has been trying to do excuse me, for years. And he finally pulled it off. But in doing so, he really had to break it to Dobby that you can't do it. Your body isn't suited for this. You have to stop. In which Dobby says, I know I can do it because I've got you as a father. And Dobby just gets freaking... He, he just blows he just blows up and he literally the, the, the final panel is Dobby telling his father look at me Endeavor look at me you don't get the claim well <laughs> getting ahead of myself look at me look at me Endeavor and he just freaking ignites and lashes at his mom Todoroki and his brother and sister in which we know and I think come looking at the panel he's he, he's going for Todoroki he's pissed at Todoroki because Endeavor pretty much let it be known that Todoroki is what the child that he was looking for and Dobby just lets loose and goes to attack and in all this Endeavor's kind of not really like maybe two percent playing victim and he's like and ray is like you don't get to claim you're hurt more than anyone and you're not the only one who didn't really see him so pretty much saying you know everybody saw him blow up everybody's hurting from this everybody is feeling something from this you're not the only one so stop playing victim stop acting like your your crocodile tears are affecting anyone we, we were all there. We all saw it. We, we, we all seen have seen what he's been speaking in Dobby has turned into. So, I mean, at this point, the question is, you know, how are they going to fix it? Because things are, are getting heavy. Things are getting heavy for both One Piece and My Hero. Um, especially My Hero, because I thought after uh, Shigaragi woke up, and even after that, even after after that, when Shigaragi went down, I thought that was going to be the end. I thought it was going to be, hey, new chapter like six months from now. But they're still going with these chapters. And I feel like they were waiting for the perfect cliffhanger with my hero to just be like, yeah, now y'all got to wait. And with One Piece, I don't know. I, I, I think they're waiting on Wano to finish before we get a break. That's just my opinion. But I think they're waiting on line on the finish. So we will see the fall of either the worst generation, or we will see the fall of Kaido, or we will see the fall of Big Mom, or we'll see the fall of Big Mom and Kaido. Heck, I like the theory that Kaido, Big Mom, we're going to lose. 
but everybody's just going to be so wiped out and then you're going to hear Blackbeard's laugh and he's going to walk in and steal Kaido's steal Kaido's uh, devil fruit in which the last chapter of One Piece we're seeing Kaido's beast form which is just from the silhouette looks amazing I cannot wait to see it but uh, yeah guys this is something uh, I've been wanting to do for a while I know we do it Spirit, uh, periodically, periodically, <laughs> periodically from time to time when things are big, but I think where these mangas are going right now, it's only getting better and better. And you can just see that I haven't stopped smiling since I started reviewing them. So I'm uh, going to make this a Sunday thing, um, as well as what comics because the comics come out every Wednesday. So I may start a new comic Wednesday, uh, just not more so sitting down like I did this and going like kind of like panel by panel with the comics but more so just giving a rundown of what happened so I mean that's what I want to do that's what I'm going to do if you guys have any other suggestions some things that you want to see please let us know um <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm slowly Oh, where that? Where that? I'm flying. I'm slowly earning, learning OBS. So follow the social media right here. Ooh, did that for you guys. Uh, YouTube anime and beer, Instagram anime, air, pretty much everything anime and beer. Just give us a follow, give us a like, give us a comment. Um, thanks you guys for watching. Give us just support, 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 support. That's all we ask. If you don't want to leave a like, leave a comment. If you don't want to leave a comment, leave a like. If you don't want to leave neither. Hey, thank you for clicking on the video. Thanks for giving us a 5 second watch, 10 second watch. Thanks for watching the whole video. Uh, until next time guys, peace.